Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss about scroll view in our QtKML application and also we will see what are its basic property and how we can use scroll view in our application. So let's start. So let's first of all import the quick, the quick controls. Controls and also import the quick, quick layout. Okay, now let's create the scroll view scroll view and set the uh, width and height also so let's set the uh, same width height and as uh, as our parents so parent now let's create the uh, column layout inside of scroll view okay set the spacing first of all so let's set the spacing uh, 20 Okay, also set the uh, width of our column layout. So let's set the uh, parent dot width. Set as is a scroll view. It considers scroll view width. Okay. Now let's create the uh, or add the uh, some controls in our uh, column layout. So we use a repeater. Okay. So I use your model. So let's create the 50 control. Okay. Now let's create the uh, some rectangle control. Okay. Inside of our column layout okay now let's set the uh, width and height so I set the width same as it parent okay and set the uh, some default height like of uh, set the height 30 okay let's set the uh, some color also here so I use the uh, index property index modular 2 equal to equal to 0 so we set a specific color or we set a some specific color so let's set the uh, this color also and for that you can use the uh, any any one color so now let's also apply the some text property inside of our rectangle so first of all we have to set the uh, id my text okay and also set the uh, anchors so we display our text in center of our rectangle so here I set the center in parent okay and now let's set the text rectangle index plus one also set the some font property so font dot point size set the 20 okay now let's run the application and check it so you can see this is the scroll view you can hear you can see the here uh, vertical scroll bar here and you can see the 50 rectangles are automatically created by use of a repeater in inside of our scroll view or we can say inside of our, our column layout so we create a first scroll view then we create a column layout inside of our scroll view and create the 50 rectangle inside of column layout okay so you can see also let's apply the uh, some change the height property here I use index property and apply the uh, odd even base color okay so you can also use the uh, manage the uh, scroll bar also so scroll bar dot horizontal dot policy so if you disable any specific scroll so you can see scroll bar dot always on or always off so let's display a defaultly display the both scroll bar and now let's check it and run so default property is automatically and you can see here that we do not need a, a horizontal scroll bar but still here you can see the horizontal scroll bar just because we here on the horizontal scroll bar okay and you can see the how scroll bar works so you can also adjust the size let's change the size here so let's set the uh, defaults uh, some 200 size or uh, 300 okay 
Now let's check it and run again. So you can see when we I resize the our application, so when how you can see how was vertical and horizontal scroll bar are works. Okay, if I stretch the our application or maximize the application, so it it will automatically disable or you can also set this this property. Just disable this property and run again. So currently we need only vertical scroll bar, but when I resize the application, it you can see automatically horizontal scroll bar appears, and you can see. And this is how scroll view works. And please drop your comment if you have any questions about scroll view or column layout or repeater. And please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video. And thanks for watching my video. Thank you.